Welcome back to the channel, guys. We're doing a little bit of yard sale, and in today's video, let's go. So pretty, that house. Good morning. How are you? I'm good, thanks. I did not. Perfect. Alrighty, I'll take a photo of it then. Carry it with you, and then you know where you're going. Right there. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Drives me insane when you have to drive around in development. <laughs> you don't know who's doing what. Right. Right. How much are the the stack of books? Um, I take twenty. I think I paid forty for them. Oh, okay. Sorry. That's Hello. okay. Hi. Good. Trying to see if this is new. I think it is new. Oh, I thought closer to eight. Creperies is usually pretty good. Packaging's a little. He's hoping the gun books are good, but I don't know. Doesn't look like it's complete. Of course it does. <laughs> yep, yep, I get you. Camera's not acting up. That's all, folks. Popcorn for sharing. Hmm. Oh, I've sold that Barbie before. Would you take 10 on the Barbie? Uh, sure. Yeah? yeah oh, okay. All right. All right, I am gonna get the Barbie and this is marked five. Do you have change? Yes, I do, let me grab my box. Okay, perfect. Sorry. No, you're fine. We're not that on the ball this morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just noticed this little snowman. Little long runner snowman. Five dollars. I'm gonna get this too. Oh. So now I don't need change. All right. <laughs> if there's anything else in that area you want, feel free to make an offer. Okay, I'm not here's looking to bring any of this back. Home. Here's the twenty. All right, thank you. I don't know how I almost missed that. Thank you, you too. Thanks. It's a large Longberger snowman. Doesn't have the baskets. But for five bucks? Five dollars? You can't beat it. I might have the baskets to go with this, but I'm not sure. I do have a snowman with baskets listed. Might be the smaller one, I can't remember. Okay, I probably should have taken the time to double check and see if that was a full set, but honestly, I really don't think it was. I have sold those before and I definitely remember the stack being uh, taller and they don't sell as well when the set is incomplete. So I decided to leave those, but they are a good pickup um, if they're a complete set of 29 books.
the Barbie was probably a little steep at $10, but I know it'll sell. I've sold this one several times for usually about $35, $36 plus shipping. Course is the Longaberger Raw Iron Snowman. I cannot believe I almost left that behind. I almost overlooked it. Sometimes you just don't see things, especially when you're filming and distracted and and there's so much stuff to look at. But last minute I grabbed him and uh yeah, he'll be getting listed soon for the holidays. And Crepe Erase is always a good pickup. This particular one, I was a little concerned because the box had some schmutz on it. And I thought maybe it was used, but it was not. It was new. Um, it was just something else had gotten spilled onto it. But anyway, it sold pretty fast for me for $55 plus shipping. <laughs> Do you have somewhere I could make a little pile? Sure. Uh, you can put it over here. Over there? Okay, yes. perfect. Birds, I think. I'm gonna get these too. I got a whole big stack going on here. Can we just maybe? Okay, so I ended up spending 67 on all of this. The two Disney classics, the jewelry, the Wonderland, the frame, the uh, Waterford Times Square. And uh, yeah, my Hulkin bag is really kind of a nuisance right now. Okay, so these Walt Disney classics really don't seem to do that well, unfortunately. Uh, they do seem to sell better as a set. This particular delivery boy 
set is a three piece set, which I only have the Mickey and the Minnie and I did list them separately. Um, but yeah, some of these Walt Disney classics can do really well. This, this set, not so much. So we'll see what happens. I may have them for a little while. For $5 a piece, this was a good pickup. I have both styles of these uh, Target Featherly Friends Nativities. So I have mine listed at $39.99 as well. And they should definitely sell for the holidays. Okay, so some of these Juicy Couture charm bracelets can do really well. Mine are not nearly as cool. Mine don't even have a whole lot of charms. But um, they're the same general kind of style. I listed mine at $45 with best offer. We'll see what happens. I might end up only getting $25 a piece. Who knows? Uh, mine are definitely not as cool as these. So we will see. Real quick, while we're on the topic of Juicy Couture, some of the charms can bring a ton of money. I've only ever found probably two or three in my reselling career, and they've probably sold in between the $50 and $100 range. Um, and you know, some are not as desirable, but some can be very good. So if you find them, make sure to take a second look, look them up, see if you have a good one worth reselling. These are really cute. They're like ornaments. Oh, I bet the eggs go inside of the... They have some paint loss. A lot of these do. I might just see how much they are. Yes, yes. Oh, we used to see two all the time, too. You know, yeah. We used to go to the mall. Oh. I thought, I thought, this is your accumulation of uh, all those years of yards here, and now you're getting rid of it. You're giving <laughs> yeah. it to me. Nah, I'm trying to find out how much yeah. they are. How much are these? Oh, these are so beautiful. They're very cute. Yeah, I, I can't go any less than 10. 10? Okay, I'll yeah. think about it. Yeah. All right, I'm going to think about it. Thank yeah. you. Let's see what do we have here. I am not picking up any puzzles today. Walking right by those. Oh, these are cute. Excuse me. I don't 
don't know. These don't really feel legit. Yeah, I don't feel like these are real. Size of those nine. These are very cute. section. It's kind of mixed, mixed patterns here. If you want book, go. <laughs> Lots of uh, Ray Dunn. Almost looks like the nativity. I picked up some over the weekend. All right, no problem. <laughs> okay, so I paid eight dollars for this bag, and it sold in a few days for sixty-nine ninety-nine plus shipping, as you see here. This thing had a lot going for it, uh, starting with the Y two K, which is still still hot right now, and also this fall denim is really trending. Denim, denim, denim. So that's what made this such a quick sale, I believe. Now, these Bionics were also a quick sale, but they had a little more wear than I realized. So I really priced them to move them. I did pay $4 for them, but they sold for 16 and it was a pretty fast sale, like I said. So definitely happy with that. Alrighty guys, that's going to wrap up another yard sailing video. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.